This week, the government announced new mortgage rules, which are set to take effect December 15th of this year. The housing minister says that these new rules will help more Canadians get a foot in the door, but will it actually? Let's find out what these new changes are. So the first one is qualifying for 30-year mortgages up from 25. So they came out with something like this earlier this year for first-time home buyers only. And they've changed that to first time home buyers for any property. It was new builds only, which was kind of ridiculous. So they changed that, which is good. Uh, all buyers of new builds are also able to qualify for 30 year mortgages. And the second thing they've done is insured mortgage cap up to 1.5 million. So that's for your insured mortgages by CMHC. And that's up from a million dollars. So at a million dollars, you used to have, or a million dollars and more, you used to have to have 20% down. Now they've changed those rules. They haven't come out with the sliding scale yet, uh, but the current sliding scale is if you have a house or you're, you're get, have a mortgage that's $500,000 or less, then you only need to put 5% down between five oh. 500,000 and one dollars up to 999 uh, you need to put 10 percent down and then anything over a million again it's it's 20 percent down and they haven't come out with the new sliding scale yet but that's to be determined as these new rules will come into effect december 15th now if you're thinking wow okay 30 years how much less will i be paying per month and that's what i've broken down here so 30 year cost versus the current 25 years so first up is the 25 years. So say, let's say you're getting a $500,000 condo, the interest rate, uh, I just picked 4.74. That's what just what came up. That was for a five year fixed and 25 year amortization interest cost for the term. So for five years, this is a five year term. So the interest cost for those five years is over $110,000. And then interest cost for the whole 25 year amortization would be 350,000. So that $500,000 condo over time. Now, obviously the interest rate will change. Your, your payment will fluctuate. So let's say you get a five-year fixed every five years for 25 years. That interest rate won't be the same. Could be higher, could be lower. But let's just say it stays the same. You would be, you'd be paying $350,000 in interest. So that $500,000 condo is essentially eight fifty. dollars Hopefully it does go up over 25 years. History tells us it does. Now, what's the difference between that in a 30 year mortgage. So again, the payment here was $2,834. Now the payment for a 30 year mortgage is $2,591. But if we break that down with essentially the same numbers as we had, except this one's a 30 year mortgage. So interest cost for the term is pretty minimal. Like it's about 1800 bucks difference because mortgages are front loaded with the, the interest. But the big kicker here is the total interest cost for the 25 years. Again, let's say that's the interest rate for the 25 years. You'd be paying $432,000 in interest if you took a 30 year loan. So that $500,000 condo will essentially cost you almost a million dollars. Now let's compare that to the 25 year and it's an $82,000 difference in interest. That's a huge cost just for an additional five years. So in my opinion, the 30 year mortgage might look flashy, might get you into a property quicker, but do the math to make sure the end result makes sense for you. So you could be saving tens of thousands of dollars if you just took a 25 year. Now, what sort of effect could this have on the housing supply, your household debt, the risk of over leveraging or the slowdown in the housing supply. So increase housing demand and prices. So what this could do is raise the price ceiling for insured mortgages and extend amortization periods could increase demand for homes, potentially again, driving up house pr housing prices, especially in already expensive markets. So in the announcement, they spoke about th this helping people in higher market area or higher priced areas uh, such as Toronto and Vancouver. But 
in addition to that this could drive up house prices in those already expensive markets now my second point here is the higher household debt if you did take a 30-year mortgage extending mortgage amortizations to 30 years might make monthly payments lower but it could result in homeowners paying more interest over the life of the loan contributing to a higher overall household debt now canadians are in more debt than ever and this could just add to the problem particularly for young people and that's the demographic that these 30-year mortgages are aimed to which is great they're trying to do something for the young people but figuring out a way if if it's possible at all to bring down home prices would be better than having your debt spread out even further into old age and my third point here is the risk of over leveraging with the ability to borrow large amounts some first-time buyers may overextend themselves financially which a lot of us do especially if interest rates rise in the future putting themselves at risk of default or financial stress now that one's more towards the ability to get a mortgage over a million dollars that's insured now we don't know yet what the down payment rules are but if you only have to have say five or 10% on a million dollars, then that's a hell of a lot less than the 20% that you need now, which could cause some buyers to way over leverage themselves. And my last point here is the slowdown in housing supply. So while the measures aim to boost home ownership, they may not directly address supply constraints. If new builds don't keep pace with demand, housing shortages and affordability issues could persist or worsen. We keep being told that there's a housing shortage and then they put in rules like this that allows people to get into the market quicker than they would initially be able to. So if we're pumping this up and getting people into the market, but we have a housing shortage, what is that going to do to home prices? probably going to cause them to go up now it's pretty evident why they're putting these new rules into effect there is an election coming up and they're trying to get the young person's vote but in reality what it seems is happening is yes you might be able to get into a home sooner adding to your debt more than ever and with this new 30-year mortgage you're really just kicking the can down the road you're paying more in interest and staying in debt much longer if you got any value out of this video there's a subscribe button there if you want to stay up to date for my future videos and there's a video for you to watch if you're wondering what five hundred thousand dollars gets you in Kelowna BC